Alright, autocross is tomorrow, so I need to change the suspension on the wheels. So I'm using some Silk Road coilovers. The spring rate is um, four in the front and five in the rear. Um, so they're really stiff and not really good on the street, but it should be perfect for autocross. And I'm using TE37s with um, Advan Niova tires, so it should be really sticky for tomorrow. And I'm actually doing a staggered setup. Uh, these came with the car, so there's 14 in the front and 15 in the rear. Whereas these speed lines are 13s all around. Uh, and they're really heavy, actually. So, yeah, it should be good for tomorrow. So now I'm going to see if I can swap it before it starts raining in like three hours. Keep it a little high so that you know when I hit bumps and stuff I don't scrape because these are a lot wider than stock and the inside uh, on full lock kind of scrapes just so you know um, these are what 165s and 165s are just about the limit uh, if you have stiff suspension it's fine but if not yeah it's tough I'm mean, actually using 185s on the rear and that's as wide as you can go without getting spacers and fender flares and stuff. So, yeah, until I do that, I'm keeping these. What? All right, so that only took 15 minutes, or well, like 13 minutes on the GoPro. So, uh, yeah, new coilovers are in and the wheels are swapped. So I'll do that to all four sides and um, see how we're looking. Rushing spanners are the best thing in the world. And as you can see, the rear moves all over the place because this whole rear assembly was from the Suzuki Alta Works. Um, they just moved everything from the front of the car to the back and they kept all the mounts. Hi, cat. <laughs> Like I said, I'm using 15s on the rear, 15 by 6, with a 185, I think 60, or 55, uh, 185, 55, R15 on the rear. This is just about as big as you can go without, you know, extending it out a little bit. So we'll see what these look like on there. <laughs> I didn't just swap these with you know another aftermarket strut and spring combo you know you can get Mazda speed springs still um, is because these coilovers that I got from Silk Road um, actually I got these from Jesse Streeter this Australian dude living in Japan who it was awesome to do with him because he could speak English and it was really easy and uh, they he talked to Silk Road and they just made these custom for the AutoZam um, they, it's not on the website or anything, you just have to contact them and ask for it. Um, and the only way to contact them was through Jesse Streeter, so thanks. And so I got these because they're height adjustable, so I could drop it down or adjust it. Like right now I have it adjusted as high as it goes on the rear because I'm using the 185s and they're insane. Or the, you know, 15 by 55. And the biggest difference between this and the stock ones is that the piston in this 
is almost the same size as the uh, this like sleeve right here. It's so massive. Uh, I'll try and find a picture and post it here. But yeah, the build quality on the Silk Road coilovers is amazing. Just not for the street. It's definitely race only. And if we compare the old versus new, uh, the old one is a lot taller. So yeah, I had to adjust it all the way up um, to fit the new wheels. But it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, cat loves it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Improvement? Yeah, should be good. Farewell, Ling Longs. Actually, the Ling Long tires weren't too bad. The wheels are so small and you know, you have to get certain, like a narrow size to fit in the, the wheel well. Because this is gonna scrape on full lock. Um, so you have to get some weird tires, but the Ling Longs were pretty good. Um, these are just gonna be better. And by the power of editing, I am done. You know, it only took about maybe an hour and a half, something like that, because I stopped to shoot video and stuff. But yeah, should be ready for tomorrow. Should be very stiff and very sticky and slightly more powerful than it was. Uh, and better brakes too. All the stuff I have now is exactly what I wanted to do to the car. You know, new brakes, new suspension, tires, wheels, um, new turbo, more power. So it's all finally on and I can test it tomorrow at Autocross and see if it was really worth it and if I'm happy. So hopefully I am, we'll see. Now I'm gonna cut straight to autocross.